Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything is okay in your life. In this video, I will try to show how you can get compass and map pieces in the game. Our first item is Luffy Badminton's upgraded compass. Before we start to talk about this compass, you might want to learn how you can define Akman and Histria portals by quests. There is a simple quest that starts at Sandgrain Bazaar. This quest one time per family. Quest line is quite simple. I don't want to show all quests in the video. After you finish quests, you can define portals, which one is Hysteria or which one is Akma. If there is a yellow circle, this is Hysteria portal. If there is not yellow circle, this is Akma portal. Okay, let's start from Lavi Badminton's upgraded compass. What does it do? It allows you to call your friends in party nearby you. It has 10 hour cooldown and every character has its own cooldown so you can use your compass in different characters at same time. Piece number one called Elton Piece, one of the hardest one, drops from History Arena's mob name to Carbalten or Elton. Piece number two called Vodkan Piece, drops from History Arena's mob name Vodkan. Piece number three called Akman Piece, drops from Ak Akman Temple, mob name Akman Edit Guardian. You can see on the screen pattern. So, which items required to combine these compass? First item is Vodkan piece, second one is Elton piece, and third one is Akman piece. And you will need Ocean Sapphire, Bloody Ruby, and Gold Topaz. Combine it. Defining NPC name is I Ingrid. Please watch it for location and process. If you want, you can define your compass pieces one by one. As you can see on the screen, after you define them, their images will change. You don't need to define it to combine in pattern. When you finish Lava Badminton's upgrade to Compass, there is a quest that gives you special furniture and title. After completing your Compass, you can acquire an exclusive furniture item and title. You must have completed the Crow's Nest questline which takes you to meet Patrigio. You must have the treasure item in your inventory. Go to Patrigio at Crow's Nest to accept the quest, the treasures, true owner and show Partigio the compass part and show the Partigio the compass to complete quests. You will get a title named Polaris colored yellow. For this treasure item or compass, I don't want to show extra rotations to you because there is fixed rotations in Histria and Akma. When you grind on Histria, you can grind at 7 and 10 rotation or old main rotation. You can check on YouTube and you may found many videos about that. And also for Akma, almost every rotation has same Akma Elite Guardian mobs so you can grind wherever you want or you can count one by one which rotation has more Elite mobs so you can grind in that route. But let's talk about Archaeologist's map. What does it do? The Archaeologist's map allows you to teleport to near town and back to your location. You can only return back to your original location within 30 minutes. You do not need to be in the same town that you teleported. You can teleport back in any safe zone. Even if you disconnected from the game or change character, you have 30 minutes to teleport back. It countdowns even if you are not in the same character. It cannot be used during a node war or siege, cannot be used during red battlefield or if you are in jail. The map has a cooldown of 6 hours. Two pieces drops from Sulfur Mine, mob's name Lava Trucker and Lava Devourer. Two pieces drops from Pilaku Jail, mob name Iron Fist Warder, Sordid Deportee. For archaeologist maps, you may find my recommended 
needed rotations for sulfur and also for plaque jail, please check at the end of the video. Items required, lava to card piece, lava devourer piece, iron feast water piece, sorted deportee piece, bloody ruby, ocean sapphire, gold topaz and forest emerald. Also for map pieces you can define them, please watch the video to learn the location, npc is in Kafra's cave and same rule for this pattern you do not need to define it to combine pattern. You can also get furniture and title with same way like compass, same quest line I had cross nests. I have to add this section at the end of video because Perlevis sometimes publish an event about treasure items. As you can see on the screen, this big treasure item table prepared for these events. Let's check which items drops from which mobs and which zones. If you want to find whole table of treasure items events, you can join on my Discord and you can find this. You can find this table in my Discord library channel at posted messages. I hope you guys like this content, I want to make it as short as I can. Preparing this and similar contents takes so much time. Please do not forget to like video, subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell, share this video on your discord and please do not forget to visit my Twitch live streams. If you want you can join my discord that I give links in the description section. Do not forget, video is just a game, have a nice game.